So to me, this is an evidence to prove that President Bola Ahmed Tinubu is running an inclusive government, unlike Buhari, who decided to, you know, feature his uh, Fulani, you know, brethren or Fulani people. He used Fulani people to fill all important positions in his government. Now, this is the profile of new chief of Nava staff, Ikechuku Ogala. Ikechuku Ogala replaced Admiral Awal Gambo, who was appointed by President Muhammad Buhari in January 2021. Today, of course, you know that yesterday, uh, President Bola Metinubu removed service chiefs. He removed all of them. So Ikechuku has now been appointed, Mr. Ikechuku Ogala, or Admiral Ikechuku Ogala has been appointed as the chief, new chief of naval staff. Ogala is, well, he was born on December 20th, 1968 in Enugu, Ezike. Igbo is a north central local government area of Enugu State. So he is from Enugu State. He's an Igbo man. He's from the southeast. He obtained the West African School Certificate work from the NMS Zaria in June 1987, where he graduated as the best boy in sciences. He is a member of the 39 Arusi and the Nigeria Defense Academy. He graduated with a BSc in mathematics and was awarded Sword of Honor as the best naval cadet in his course. He was commissioned uh, as lieutenant as lieutenant on September 16, 1992 and rose to the rank of R admin WEF on September 16, 2021. He completed the STC NNS Quora Basic Hydrography National Hydrography School India in May 2000. Junior and senior staff courses AFCSC Jaji in November 1 and July 6 respectively. He was a participant of NDC course 22 and was awarded FDC in August 14. As part of the course, he took part in the MSc Strategic Studies, Studies Program at the University of Ibadan from 2014 to 2015. The senior officer served on board many ships including NS, AMBE, Aradu, Lana, Ekun, AGU, Quora, Bancroft, Delta, and Pathfinder. While on board NNS Ekun, he took part in the ECOMOC operations in Liberia in 1996. Also, as the base operations officer in NNS Pathfinder, he was responsible for the coordinating for coordinating anti-illegal bunkering, bunkering operations as well as the entire policing duties on the base. So, excuse me, policing duties of the base. During the period, there was a remarkable reduction in illegal activities in the maritime area within the base area of operations so the as a, the senior officer also served as instructor c1 and comdt nnhs so1 survey and dd instruments nnho adcp dd hydro and dpr nhq as well as ds daras ndc and d audit NASS NHQ. He is currently the DLL NHQ. During his cumulative CCA tour of duty in NNHS, he taught geodesy, datum conversion, tidal predictions and analysis, satellite surveying, bathymetry, bathymetry, among others. As COMDT, he linked the school with Teledyne Mar Marines, a reputable OEM in the US which enabled the NN to procure several survey equipment from the company, leading to improvements in practical trends. He was also instrumental to the review of the school's curriculum to align with IHO requirements. During his tour of duty in the NNHO, the senior officer was instrumental to the localization of tidal prediction and analysis. He participated in the FAO-sponsored Guinea Current Large Marine Ecosystem Survey in 2004 and provided professional inputs during the survey and production of the NNHO charts. During his tour of duty at the NDC, he contributed towards the improvement of the college research package and also led the 2018 participants, participants research study tour to China and South Korea. As DLL, he was responsible for collecting 
and analyzing previous NN operations and activities with the objective of drawing lessons necessary for doctrinal and operational improvements. The senior officer is decorated with FSS, MSS, DSS, and GSS. He is a member of the Nigerian Hydrographic Society, Nigerian Institute of Management, the International Air Rotation Services, and also a fellow of the Occupational Safety and Health Association of the UK. He is married to Mrs. Ijoma Ogala, and the marriage is blessed with two children. His hobbies include jogging, reading, listening, researching about science and nature. So, I mean, this man called uh, Tinubu is striking a balance in the political space. He's trying to be political correct. Let's see how correct he's going to become. But one thing that is good is doing is you know putting a balance. Not Buhari that of course his certificate he failed everything and his eight years of government was a disaster. Tinubu has started on a good note, but what I'm against is his first safety removal and uh the hike in everything currently now in Nigeria. The first subsidy to me, remover, is necessary, but the way he went about it is horrible. Nigeria is, Nigerians are really suffering. 